I've talked many times about my penchant for making lists. Pretty much any time of the day, you could come into my office and see an index card or a post-it note with a list of things that I want to get accomplished in the day. I find that it's something that keeps me on track with what I need to do. The problem is, if I'm too focused on my list, I tend to be not very accepting for other things that come up in the course of the day that aren't on the list. And I have to be careful that I'm not so task-oriented that I ignore the people in my life that need me or that God brings my way. In the book of Luke in chapter 10, we're told that Jesus visited the home of Martha and Mary. Martha was the consummate hostess. And if you read the passage, you see that she was busy making sure she had everything done that she needed to do to care for her special guests. Mary, however, was sitting at the feet of Jesus listening to him teach. I want to just read a verse for you where Luke describes how that made Martha feel. Luke chapter 10 verse 40 says, Martha was distracted with much serving and she went up to Jesus and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her to help me. Now Jesus goes on to tell Martha why it is important for Mary to be listening and why it's important for us to be listening. But I want you to notice here in Martha's life something that I think is instructive for us. There is a process here that happens that in, in a process of degeneration for Martha. First of all, she was incredibly busy. She had a lot of things that she needed to get done. That busyness led to distraction. She was distracted from the incredibly important thing that was happening in her own house. Jesus himself was in her house teaching, speaking the words of truth, the words of life, and she was completely distracted by it, by everything that she was doing, and she missed it. This distraction then led to resentment. Lord, tell Mary to help me. We can often become resentful when we are so busy with everything that we feel that we have to do. We become resentful. Why isn't someone helping me? Why don't they see what needs to be done? Why do I have to do it all? And then that resentment can blossom into anger. Lord, listen to her talking to Jesus this way. Tell Mary to help me. Imagine talking to the Lord Jesus that way. And yet we do sometimes, don't we? Lord, why isn't anyone helping me? Why doesn't anyone care? My friends today, be careful that you're not so busy that you become distracted and resentful and angry. 